It's Tuesday, August 6th, with Pastor Chris teaching. And our theme for today's article is, You have something to do with it. And our theme scripture is taken from 1 Peter 1, verse 1 to 2. And it says, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Hallelujah. Something very remarkable in all of Paul's epistle is his consciousness of the grace and peace of God. At the beginning of each of the episodes he wrote to the churches, you find such expressions as the one in Romans 1 verse 7. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. You also find the same with Peter and even John. They understood the importance and power of grace and peace in the life of God's people. But then Peter takes a step further to show us something quite striking about this. At the beginning of the first epistle, as read in our theme scripture, he said, Grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. But at the beginning of his second epistle, he pinpointed how this grace and peace can be multiplied in your life. It is through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. In 2 Peter 1 verse 2, he says, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Multiplying grace in your life means increased capacity, speed, and accuracy to perform. It means more favors and greater excellence in your life with prosperity, dominion, and power over adversity. Hallelujah. But for this to happen, you have to have the knowledge of God. Knowledge here is epignosis in the Greek, which is correct and precise knowledge. A knowledge that relates with that which is known. It's up to you how much prosperity with peace you want to enjoy. It's not going to happen by you praying, Oh God, multiply your grace and peace in my life. No. He's already shown you what to do. Get to know God more intimately. Study and meditate on his word. Be deliberate about this. Hallelujah. Oh dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today in four Pastor Chris. All right, now let's take our prayer together and mean every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, Dear Father, I thank you for the abundance of grace and peace that you have made available to me through the knowledge of your word. My knowledge of you deepens as I meditate on your word. First, causing your grace and peace to be multiplied in my life. Leading to increased capacity, dominion and prosperity. In Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, for further study, please read 1 Corinthians 1 verse 3 and also Philippians 1 verse 2 and also Colossians chapter 1 verse 2. And for more details, please contact us via any of our social media handles or visit any Christ Embassy Church near you. God bless you and do have a beautiful day.